In one week from today, I will be heading to Wonder of the Seas for my next contract, and I'm so excited. This is not a drill. We need to get packing. I have nothing packed so far, and at this time next week, I will be on a flight. So I need to get moving with it. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jordan. I'm a professional figure skater, and I work for Royal Caribbean. I'm heading to Wonder for my fourth contract on board and my fifth professional skating contract. At this point, I'm getting pretty good at packing. I am a bit of an overpack because I just want everything with me and when you pack your life away and you're living on a cruise ship you want to have options you know my thought process is the more I pack the less I'm gonna purchase which definitely wasn't the case last contract in Europe calling myself out there but I like to think so every contract I feel like I have a better grasp of how to pack but this is the first time I'm feeling very confident going into it because I know exactly what I wear and I've reflected a lot on what I wore the previous contracts on a day-to-day -day basis, so this should be hopefully easier, but we're gonna pack together. I'm gonna show you the process of picking everything out. It's that time again. Coco's not gonna be very happy. <laughs> big stretch, big stretch. This is the upgrade for luggage for this contract. I always have my pink one, but I just got this for Christmas. It's already getting dirty. So if anyone has tips how to clean that up, let me know. But it's gonna be so much easier to use two rolly bags rather than like a soft shell and this hard shell. Here we are again. It feels like I literally just was packing for my contract in Florida. So all the nostalgia. But it does feel like I've been away from ships for a really long time. I signed off on December 4th, I think. Don't quote me on it. I think it was December 4th. So it has been almost three months from the day I signed off and the day that I fly to my next contract, on board at least, three months. So I feel refreshed and excited to go back. Here is the closet. Obviously can't pack everything in the wardrobe. When it comes to packing for a contract, comfort is key. I pretty much live in leggings, joggers, sweatshirts, and like comfy clothes, if you will. Definitely in crew areas. When I go out and about to guest areas or if I'm going off into port, I do like to have some options. So I do need to pack like a formal option, some smart casual, which is like dressy-ish. I always overdress because I like to. <laughs> I will be in the Caribbean this contract, so it's gonna be tropical weather, which means I can pack a lot of cute summer clothes, which is what I always prefer to wear and also it's easier to pack because they are smaller so it's not like i have to pack for the nordic countries like last contract on voyager that was definitely difficult and then we ended in the caribbean so i had to pack for every single climate what i want to start with is basics because those are the easiest to mix and match and i'm going to view my i'm going to view my wardrobe on the contract as like my capsule closet if you will so we're gonna go for neutrals, we're gonna go for basics, and yeah, I definitely have more neutrals now than colors, I would say. The whole bottom is all neutrals, and then I do have black on the top. So first I wanna pull body suits because I live in those. They're also perfect for like back deck if I go to have a drink or to socialize with friends. As I always do, I'm gonna start top left, work my way to the right, and then move to the bottom. So far so good so I clearly love this high neckline so I have five different colors in these these are so flattering so easy to throw on with anything and they are pretty neutral colors so they're not too crazy I have two spaghetti strap bodysuits this one is like an olive green color and then a white one it has a fun little back for little basic crop tees I have an olive green one and a brown one that I wear all the time. These are the long sleeves that I pulled because we're gonna be in the Caribbean. It's not gonna be freezing, but sometimes it's nice to have that option in the evening or if it's a little bit chilly. I have this bodysuit from Princess Polly in two colors and then a white v-neck and just a basic black, which I can also wear for skating. Now let's move on to tank tops. Again, another basic. I'm only gonna try and grab a couple because I don't need 45. It's just not necessary. I keep all my like tank tops under my bed 
in this little container. And I love little tank tops, but we're going to try and limit it. So um, this one is fancier, but I do wear it a lot. So I am going to pack this one. Um, this one I just bought in Toronto. So I'm definitely packing this. It's a good neutral. I also just bought in Toronto. It's a t-shirt. I'm going to pack this. This little muted green tank. And then I have this, this black halter that I absolutely love. Always wear that. And then pink one blue short sleeve and lastly just this tank from zara so i think we're doing pretty well same high neck you know i love it and all these colors aside from the pink are pretty muted so they're versatile um and i just put these two shirts into this pile i removed the green one because i don't think i'm going to wear it that much white and black will be added to this as well now we're going to move on to what you would call like statement pieces they're not really statement pieces but they are like an elevated basic if you will first is this cute little slouchy little blouse from pull and bear i love the fit of it because it's just really loose so it's cute to throw on with jean shorts for the beach i absolutely love the corset or corset trend i don't know if it's even trending anymore but i still like it so i have this one this one is from revolve it's like a tannish nude color and then i have another one in white from princess polly i just recently bought this bodysuit since i've been home at express it is a one shoulder bodysuit it's kind of like a rust color super pretty so i'm going to pack this and then I have two black bodysuits. So this is the first one. It has an underwire. It's kind of meshy with some lace panels. Really cute and really sexy. And I love the look of this with like leather pants or jeans. So I'm going to pack this. And then I have another black bodysuit just for options. This one is like a pinstripe, but it's all black. And then crisscrosses and kind of ties on the side so i feel like this is another good option i am going to pack one flannel so i think this is the winner i have another lighter neutral color one that i love but it is quite thick so i think it's going to be too hot for the ship so one and done you guys know i love a good matching set so i do have a few sets that i want to pack this is the first set it is a brown button down with a pair of drawstring shorts and then this is the second set we love a neutral and again i can mix and match so neutrals are always a good way to go that one is from white fox another thing i really do love to wear especially over just like a bodysuit or a little tank top is a button down because you can style it so many different ways i am definitely going to pack this one i just recently got it i love the colorways i think it's so fun especially for the caribbean so this is coming with me and then i'm going to pack two other ones this is a really fun statement piece and i love the colors this is the second button down i'm gonna pack it's really light so it's gonna be perfect for the caribbean i again i had this on voyager i wore it a ton it's one of my favorite pieces in my closet so I'm gonna pack these two it's time to move on to active wear first we have to pull out the leggings it's the way i still have my christmas tree up and it's nearly march my leggings are under the, t the bed as well almost at table here we have them if there's anything i can pack too many of and it's fine is leggings because i literally wear them every single day that being said i think i did go a little overboard on voyager i don't need like 20 pairs but a good amount because i'm going to the gym i'm skating i'm lounging i definitely want to pack my brown ones i did get a set from first form and it's this really pretty baby pink color these aren't leggings, but they are joggers. These are my blues, part of my uniform for the ship, so have to pack those. Definitely going to pack my dance studio joggers. The thing I definitely will pack the most of is black, because that's what I seem to usually wear the most. My blue ones and my green ones. While we're here, I might as well pull some long sleeves that I wear for skating. So definitely going to pack this neutral one from Lulu. This one is definitely coming with me. I've got this black long sleeve that I love wearing for skating. This is in the wrong spot, but so cute. Definitely packing this little oversized tee. Says travel more, worry less. Little update of it all laid out. So I've got two black long sleeves, two like colored ones, and then two neutrals. For leggings, I have brown. I'm gonna pack like three pairs of black leggings. Right now I only have one that are clean. Blue and green. 
my uniform pants and my joggers and then my set from first form. Now I have to pull the tank tops for like the gym and for skating. This is gonna be tough for me because they are small so I'm like I can pack a ton of them but I really don't need so so many. So definitely going to bring my brown one from Lulu. That's more of a sports bra but I think I'm gonna wear it as like a top. Definitely going to pack this one for sure packing this lilac one this one and then this black one and then I do have a package coming from Halara so I have a few more tops from that order I'm going to pack with me but that won't come in for a few days so I have to wait and add those to the pile but I think that is a good a good amount now that the workout tops and leggings are all set I need to grab like a couple warmer like layers for Studio B so I'm really not gonna pack much because I end up wearing the same like sweatshirt or hoodie to Studio B for warm-ups like every day. I am gonna pack her. Love her. She's from Amazon. I've got this little brown one, another cropped jumper if you will. Definitely bringing this. Just got this in Toronto. I probably will bring one of my Aboard with Jord hoodies. Don't know which one yet, but I'll bring one of them. I'm getting a bit hungry, so we're gonna take a pause and I'm gonna eat something. Then we're gonna come back and resume. I feel like my face looks so round right now. Anyways, we're back. I've just pulled some bottoms. This is the situation. These are pajamas I'm packing. I've got two pairs of biker shorts and like a pair of athletic shorts, one pair of white denim, two pairs of jean shorts. These are cuffed and these are just like a, a raw hem. And then I've got some comfy shorts, one skirt. It's just a pleather skirt with a slit. So that's I feel like perfect for anything. Dresses is when it starts to get a little tricky because I have so many that I wanna pack, but I just don't need to have 20 options, you know? That was one thing last contract that I was terrible at. I had so many dresses to wear. It was just, it was a disaster. I could barely close my closet. But anyways, I think I've narrowed it down. I tried to stay as minimal as possible. So first is this one. This is gonna be like my formal dress because it's full length and it's shimmery. I've never worn it, but it's really, really pretty. So I'm packing this. I've got one of my favorite rompers from Princess Polly. It's a classic. I wear it all the time. For a more casual look, I have this little neutral colored romper. So cute on. You can't really tell by me holding it up, but I feel like I could even dress this up with a blazer or something. Or it's just like a casual look for the day. Of course, I cannot go without having a black dress. So this is the one I'm packing. It's a high neck. This is from White Fox. Another one of my favorites that I wear all the time on the ship is this fuchsia colored one from Revolve. Another high neck, but it has a gorgeous open back. I feel like a 10 out of 10 in this dress. And then the final dress I'm packing, I just recently got. It is a white dress with pinstripe. It's a button down and I just feel like this is so flattering, so easy. And this is also from Revolve. I have pulled two pairs of flowy pants. These I can also use for guest areas because I can dress them up with a bodysuit and some heels. So these are what I call my clown pants <laughs> because they're just multicolored, but they're really fun. They're flowy. It's like a wide leg. And then these I just recently got and I haven't been able to wear them yet because I need a warm climate, but they're such a fun green color and they're super lightweight. So these will be perfect for the beach. We're making really good progress. I think now I need to move on to shoes, but I honestly might call it for today because that was a good amount. Yeah, I think I'm gonna call it for today and then we can check back in again tomorrow. And I also like to look back on what I've pulled because sometimes a day goes by and I change my mind and realize that I won't actually use something or I can condense a little more because I probably still have packed more than I need so I can look at it tomorrow and maybe remove a few things. Here is a little checkpoint, day one. I think we're finished packing the clothes. It is another day and I need to get back to packing. I'm feeling pretty confident about where I'm at right now. The last few things that I need to pick out are swimsuits. I need to pick out um, what shoes I'm gonna pack and then undergarments, so bras, underwear, things of that matter. So I wanna pull all of those things and then I wanna start physically packing the stuff into the luggage. I keep all of my swimsuits up there. It's overflowing if you can't tell. So we need to pull this down and 
figure out which ones I'm gonna bring. I did order a few new suits just because I thought it was time to refresh the older ones. I haven't gotten new suits in a couple of years and I've gotten my use out of them for sure, but they're starting to wear. They're a little bit faded, they're stretching a little bit. So I got a few new ones and I'm gonna try and not pack too many. Even though we're gonna be in the Caribbean, I'm gonna be in a bathing suit like every single day. First one I'm definitely gonna pack is this one. Such a fun print and the matching bottoms. Of course, I need like a strapless one for tanning. So I have this beautiful like royal blue one, the matching bottoms again. I have another strapless one. This one is like a neutral one, which is perfect because I'm really into neutrals. Matching bottoms. I definitely wanna pack this one. It's very unique. It's like a multi-print kind of set. As you can see, these are the bottoms and then this is the matching top to go along with it. I don't really need a cover up because I have whatever clothes I wear to the beach, but I am gonna bring this little sarong from Black Bow. It's cute, it's white, so it goes with everything. I'm definitely gonna bring this one from Burlook. I'm obsessed with it. It is a sparkly swimsuit, which is so cool. I've never had like a shimmery swimsuit. And then this is the top. I have this one with an underwire. I think this is super cute. Once again, matching bottoms. And I think we're pretty much set. I might pick one more suit, but I feel like that's enough. Here are the winners. I'm packing eight suits. I think that's suitable because they're small. So I can pack them in. We've got a good range of options, but not too, too many. So I've packed eight sports bras and three bralettes for the contract. I think that's plenty because I need them to skate and work out in and then I always just like lounge in these. Of course, the most important thing, I cannot forget to pack my uniform. So I have one jacket and two shirts coming with me. I do have two jackets, but there's really not a need for it. So just gonna pack these and then I have my blue Lulu pants to match. I just recently bought packing cubes from Amazon. So I'm going to work on filling these up. They're not as big as I thought they would be, but I think they will still help. So we're gonna start packing and see where we get. <laughs> decided on shoes so I've got six pairs plus my sneakers which are downstairs I'm probably gonna end up wearing the vans on the flight because they're the heaviest I've got two pairs of heels these are probably at the end of their life if you can see that so I'll probably just leave those there at the end of the contract I've got flip-flops and then two pairs of sandals so technically I really only have like five pairs but those are for the beach so I'm gonna try and pack these in maybe in a cube or maybe just in. Actually, that worked out pretty well. So now all I need to pack outside of that is these and then I'm gonna wear these. We are doing really well. The packing cubes came in clutch. So this bag is so organized and I do have like still room I can add more if I need, but I think we are pretty much set for this one. I just have to weigh it and make sure that it's not over 50. The second luggage I have is not full at all. And I've already added in like my toiletries and things like that. So I think we are pretty much good to go. I mean, we're not 100% done. I have to just keep checking it. 
up until the day I leave, but I am very happy with where we are at. I added in like a little cropped hoodie because I only have one hoodie packed. We're doing well. I do also have pods in here that I had left over from Florida, so I'm just packing those. I'm gonna try and weigh the pink luggage and see where we're at. It's always so stressful. Okay. We are at 19 kilograms, 23 is the max, and this is full, so we are, we're set. This one is good to go, I'm not gonna touch it. So I've just laid out everything that I'm gonna put in my carry-on. I do have to add my little makeup bag, but that's still in the bathroom because I'm using it until I leave. I've got my skates, I never check those. Those always go in my carry-on. I've got my colorful eyeshadow palette, my journals, my bullet journal, my planner and one other notebook, I can't remember. Then I have my folder with all my important paperwork for sign-on, my Kindle, Polaroid printer, battery pack, and then I am bringing my camera this contract. I'm gonna try and expand my photography a bit. just packed everything into my carry-on. I do still have space for my makeup, which is perfect, and it's not too overloaded, so I think we are pretty much good to go. I leave tomorrow, which is insane. I do feel ready, so I just want to weigh both of my luggages one more time, and I think we should be good to go. I'm probably gonna check like 10 more times throughout the evening to make sure that I have everything I need, but I do feel really prepared, so I don't think there's anything I forgot. If there's anything I'm gonna forget, it's gonna be like a toothbrush or something stupid. Here is the finishing product of the second luggage and my carry-on. So I did end up adding a few things into here today. I packed some emergency and some tea bags. I have my ring light. I am gonna bring my slippers for the cabin. And I did forget to pack socks, so I just added a bunch of socks in here. My carry-on is all set as well, so I do have like a baggie of emergency things, so a couple pairs of underwear and socks, workout clothes for the first day in case. I've got markers, my chocolate from Callum, I've got my everything bagel seasoning, and a hat. And then I added my tripod in there, but it's like really all the way at the bottom, you can't see. This luggage is significantly lighter than the pink one just from picking it up, but let's see how much it weighs. I have a lot of faith in this one. Okay, this says 15 kilograms. So I wanna say this is the lightest I've ever packed for a contract. I'm just gonna weigh it one more time just to be sure. Yeah, okay, 15 kilograms. I feel good about it. I'm going to weigh the pink one once again, just to make sure. If I need to transfer anything into the other one, I can always do that. This one is now saying 20 kilograms. I'm gonna leave it, because it's still under 23, so it should be fine. If for some reason this is not accurate and it's weighing more than 50, I'll just transfer some into the other one, but yay! Both bags are good to go. Feeling good. So thanks for packing with me. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight how I go about packing for a contract. This contract definitely had the most direction and I feel like I was the most decisive this contract as far as like figuring out what I wanna bring, what I wanna leave. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already because I have a ton of exciting videos coming soon. I am going to be filming my travel day tomorrow. I'm gonna film signing on, rehearsals, cabin tours, ship tours, everything you can think of. So if you have any specific requests, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you guys in route for wonder. Thank you so much for watching and I love you to the moon and back.